think. What's a civic grant? I think the 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 council typically funds. There's some some organizations that you fund directly from general fund. I think like uh, North Miami Senior Foundation is one. Uh, what's the other? Uh, edu is it education fund? And you call that? S but you said major civic civic ci civic organization. I know, but that's a major factor to the increases. No, no that's. <laughs> I don't think those two, the last two, should be on that page because the first one, that's an automatic. I don't even think that's a big factor. That's that's automatic. And then the second yeah. one, I'm talking about page 11. Yeah, we're on it. Now, the other ones on top are debatable. Right. But I don't think the little two at the bottom, you know. I'm just, okay, I'm just saying. That's, yeah, yeah, that's just. Uh, now, the first one, and I don't want to talk about it, but th that's something that we need to talk about in private. Well, you, you already talked about it in public. <laughs> no, I'm saying, <laughs> well, yeah, but no, I, w I won't be going. I'm, this, I'm this saying we need to. I'm, I'm, okay, you know what I'm saying. Don't, don't, okay, yeah. yeah, I won't. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's fine. That, you, you can't see it, Councilman. But this, you already, this number you already approved. We approved it in the uh, prior contracts. Oh, okay. okay. Then we include it in the deferred and the second one. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah okay. And then sanitation, we we didn't we didn't touch that yet. So that's the that was that's the whole that's part of the conversation that we that we need have. to have. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So one and two, that which is fine. Which okay. Alrighty, Larry, I have a quick question for you. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's not technically your fault. It's the mayor and council's <laughs> fault, but. Let me just say, since the last um, election we had, I found some beloved friends who's kind of in line with me when it comes to our fiscal conservative. We're liberals, whatever, but the one question that I cannot answer when my neighbors come and bang on my door, because I'm elected, so they think I have all the answers, um, and Scott get a lot of the emails that I get, and, um, and even the fiscal conservatives who are against the bond, they're emboldened, they're here, they know I was against the bond, so we all, we're friends and we talk. But there's answers that I can't answer because it's above, you know, I just don't really understand. The, the, I understand, but I'm just really not in the know with the big four, big fellas. But what they keep asking me, including Jim and Ted from my building and Jarita and Marie and Daniels, everyone. You say Jarita? No, Jarita. She's oh. one of our board <laughs> members at the thing. <laughs> so in 2015, from 2015 to 2019, from when you 20, look at page 11. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, from, from 2015, 2015 to 2019 on page 11, there's a 15 million, 15.9 million dollar difference, right? right? Page 11. So page from 2015, where you see salaries on page wait, 11, wait, wait, same wait, page, Benjamin. Right huh? here, 11, 11, 11. Page 11. 11. Page 11. Right. Okay. So where you see salaries, for example, mm -hmm. on page 20, uh, okay. um, 20 mm -hmm. million 495. In four years, it's estimated that the salaries go up seven point something million dollars. And of course, because the salaries are going up from 2015 to 2019, that's a seven plus million difference. And of course, the fringe benefits is gonna go up a little bit. But when you look at the comparison to where we were back in 2015, where the total was 46 million to our estimated 2019, where now the total is 62,286, relatively within four years, we haven't had a, a major population explosion over the four year period. So what they keep asking me is, how do we justify, and I keep telling them, I don't vote on the budget, so I didn't vote on these budgets, you may know or may not know, but how do we justify a $15.9 million increase when it comes to salaries, fringe benefits, operating grants to others? Like for example, in 2015, we were giving out 574, 576 in grants, but in 2019, it's estimated that we're gonna give out 1.3 million in grants. So when I get asked those type of questions, I tell them, but they don't wanna hear it, despite the fact, I know I'm elected citywide, but I don't vote on budgets. But they bang on the door and they ask, they ask. I can't explain that. So if you can just say something publicly as to why we have that 15.9 million. Yeah, the people who are asking you, are they residents of, of, of the city? Of course they are. They're, they're <laughs> voters. Of course they're Tell voters. Them, they're Jim, residents. Why are they asking you? Yeah, exactly. Because why they, they voted. We're we open to them. Yeah. That, how does that, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. You are asking him. Why are they asking you? We have budget yeah. meetings. But you know why they're asking we me? Have, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Hold on. We have, a bu we have, we're going to be voting on this budget in two different meetings, mm -hmm. right? They will have the same opportunity to come and ask of us, the same question so that they're ask, asking Let me you. answer your question. Mm -hmm. First of all, not every elected official is approachable. 
So some people don't think that they can approach the mayor and ask questions. That's Perhaps. bullshit. That, that, well, that, I mean, that's well, that's, 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 so if they're going to come and ask questions. Yeah, let's not get into that. He said cheat. Yes. Okay, so in the last thing, so do you know why they have the right to ask me these questions? Because I go to their doors and ask their They have the right to come to this microphone and ask us any question that they want about anything. And they will. Jim they have the right to, to oh, oh, come to this. Shh. Listen, yeah. Reason. Stop. I know, I know. Okay, I got it, guys. This mayor, is crazy. Mayor, let me finish. Mayor, they have the right. Mayor, they do. They we will. work for them. But, Mayor, I understand that. But they, if they want to come ask me, they can ask me. But they can have the manager, too. They can. And they They have. can make an appointment with the manager and ask the manager. Right, so, right? Mayor, 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 let me finish, please. So, the fact is, because I go to their doors and ask for their votes, they have the right to come ask me questions, and I have the right to get answers for them. But don't get offended. Just answer uh, their questions. So <laughs> you want the question? Question. question? It came to you. Answer it. Can I? Um, Let them answer. Oh. Go ahead, Excuse Mayor. me. The floor is yours. <laughs> I don't make the budget. There you go. He don't make the budget. That's his response. Go ahead. Give him an answer. Um, go ahead, Mr. Manager. But but in response, you, you want to answer, Mr. Manager? After you answer, I want to say something. But go ahead. This isn't a public meeting. He's not the well, chair. You can answer the question. Well, again, if you look at the salaries and fringe benefit, which it makes up about 11 million of that, that total 15 that you're looking at, so the line share of it. Back in 2015, you, the city had not had salary increases for a number of years. So that number was probably uh, strategically and very, very low number. You guys, the, the city council started negotiating contracts and agreed to contractual increases uh, sometime in 2016, and that's why you start to see the the increases. So those are long long overdue across the boards, merits, um, changes to the things. Um, the other thing, and and to give context to it, yeah, you see a number going up, but it was actually going up at a much rapid pace. In those negotiations, the city the manager, I think Arthur was manager at the time, our HR department. They went and they were successful at negotiating pension reform. Um, and we basically shut down our city pensions or froze them with the existing uh, participants and we shifted the city to the FRS plan, which is a, a much more conservative um, pension plan. And you will start to see the impact of that in the coming years. It's not something that you'll see in the first three years. So that, so right now you're seeing that. The, the other, other contractual services, which is the balance of those increase, the, the major balance. You're talking about um, IT licenses and and you know fuel and things of that nature that you need in order to operate the city, to physically yes. operate the city. Um, no, Mr. Manager, what he's right. talking about? He's talking about salary. No, I, 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 answered, I, answered, I, answered, I answered. I answered. I answered. I answered it. I answered. Oh. <laughs> you said gas increase. No, that's the. Oper the operating line. No, he's talking about the first line salary. No, he asked from for 20 all the lines. to 27 million, right? No, he asked for all the lines. No, you want to question? You want you to answer the first line first? Did I? Did I? That salary one, right? Did I answer? I think he. Had, I think <laughs> the mayor. I think he. The grant is not. It's it's little. We're talking about seven million versus a few hundred thousand. You oh you okay with? You um, and something else you didn't. Uh, went on the table in 2013 the study about the early retirement plan where we where they said we were gonna save million and million uh, I, I think Steve you need Johnson. to bring an update <laughs> to tell us the era did it work no it didn't work <laughs> just write it down did the <laughs> era <laughs> work no the era yeah, the, yeah. I, I wasn't here for the e so <laughs> yeah, but at least I'll, I'll you have, have the, to pull the numbers you had together. You the document, and Arthur no. was there as the deputy city manager. Mm. That's, I mean, I, I'm not even going to put that on. I was, no, I was the budget. No, was I was the budget. Was budget. budget. The e time, yeah. so. She okay. wasn't budget. Well, that's even but worse. You, okay, in your presentation, you were telling me we were going to save $5 million a Ooh. year. N but to be honest, Vernon Paul, who was our budget director at that time, went on record, and it probably cost him his job saying that this ERIP is something we cannot afford as a city. Mm. There are documented emails and documented wow. media stories him saying this is something we cannot afford. And the city council, I the won't name your names, don't run for office in May because I know some of you are thinking about it, 
<laughs> the still <laughs> voted to go ahead and do it, and now we're picking up the piece. We're picking up the pieces of past councils on garbage privatization. Yeah. Yeah. We're picking up their pieces on ERIP. Uh, uh, it uh. sucks. We have to pick up their pieces. Uh, Mr. Mayor, can I say something? In reference to uh, Mr. Clerk, you know you do a, a, a good job when you go out in, in the district and you find people. Because he has done it a couple of times, and you call me. Well, I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the people that you from my area that you call me on. So if you ever run into one of those situations, I'll hope. And Jim knows my, my number, my email, so don't worry about Jim. So anybody else, you let, you call me and let me know. But, Think you can say now. yes, sir. But And, and, and you, you always find me. And you know I'm a socialist. So, Mr. Manager, I'm right. a socialist. Yes, I said what? it. Whatever. I never... All right. Okay. Oh, a progressive. Okay. That's a better word. Okay. Social you know, I'm aggressive. So I have never, which we talked about. So that conservatism with that, um, whatever that they talked about, I never get in there, Mr. Manager, or, or concerned about, I, I understand people have to work and people need it to get paid. And, and I don't care if it's a million dollars. What I do care about, it's our residents' money and they need to understand that we are, we work for the people, just like we up here work for them. And I think if we, and, and that's always been my stand, um, people need to get paid because I, I believe that we, we have folks who do a, a phenomenal job. So I, I always, in fact, trying to increase in, 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 in this and this. And At the same time, they have to match that increase with the residents being satisfied. Us, a resident sending an email, it takes three or four days in a department. And we talked about a specific department that's supposed to serve the public. That's not. That's when I have my issues, and I haven't been doing it in the past as far as looking at the budget and, and looking at the part. Well, I, I, I do department by department, but I'll be a little bit more, I guess, conservative um, this year when it comes to that. But in theory, I am very, very progressive, and I do believe that people who do the, the, the work needs to, to get paid. And, and a residents, if they satisfy, they won't mind paying, but they, we have to know that we work for them. And you know we have to answer to them. That's basically it. Thank you, sir. And by the way, I also want to say with Bienname and Alex and Calvin, whenever residents come talk to me and I need their help, and I enlisted their help and I give them a phone call, Bienname's on it, Desiree's on it. And what he just said, I call them a lot. And say, hey, this resident's talking to me, and I and then they do the job. Galvin, the Bienname and the Zume, you're right. When I do call, they do help out. And okay, and I want to acknowledge that. But thanks for mentioning that, Alex. Thank you very much. And. Uh, you mentioned uh, so Councilman <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Councilman uh, <laughs> Michael Litian. Michael Litian mentioned something about the salary increase no, by about seven million dollars, right? And uh, you talked about the cola, and uh, we haven't given a raise for the past five years, and thing, and thing like that. But it seems like the administration get the raise. But the small personal didn't get anything. That's budget, right? The employee on the street. <laughs> let, 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 me, <laughs> let, let me be very <laughs> clear about this. <laughs> Wait, mm -hmm. Everybody that works for the city that's covered full-time, covered by a union contract, receive those because you approved them all. So everybody's getting but increases. Wait, wait. <laughs> no, and, I, I, and okay. that's a fact. That's, that is a fact. That's not speculation. That is a fact. I but it seems sure. like... The, it seems like uh, the administration get 10 percent, 20 percent when the the personnel. My my contract. Mm -hmm. I'm the highest paid, and he is the highest paid. I get the same percentage, and I agree to that in my contract. Are you telling me every single employee of the city of North Miami, every full time employee, get the same percentage? The same percentage. Yes, sir. There is no people who have more. No. Two step, three step, four step. <coughs> you have, you, will have, one have, you will have some cases where a individual employee mm -hmm. has performed that year, and when they get their evaluation, and it's usually managers or higher, mm -hmm. where the supervisor will recommend a two step increase. Did but you ever had a two step increase <coughs> for a small employee? And then I don't know. Yeah. I'd have to go and get the scenario, but the answer is You yes. had that. Yes, we've had that. Like someone working on the street. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I would like to see that. I'm not okay. done. Well, wait, wait. I'm done. <coughs> I have a question. Secondly, 
Do we have uh, full-time employee of the city of North Miami making less than $15 an hour? Yeah. Uh, I, I will say yes. The answer is yes. Okay. And uh, I think uh, Councilman Galvin will be with me on this, and I'm pretty much sure Alex. I'm uh, a progressive. Yeah, bring it on. And uh, I would like to see every full-time employee of the city, full -time. simple employee, get at least $15 an hour. I don't think as a city we should we should pay an employee less than $15 an hour. And I even Is thought Councilman Galvin asked you how much it will cost the city we've, we've yes, to, we've bring, that to bring uh, the salary up to $15. <coughs> It's just a couple. Um, how much it is in the last year? Do you remember? I, I I know we brought the report. We did the report at some point. But I would like to see every single employee that worked for the city for at least yeah. two years or more get at least fifteen dollars an okay. hour. Can I can I ask a clarifying because question? Because last time they said you need to start by okay. the upper level, but I want to start from the lower to the top. Yet. Can I ask a clarifying? And Joe is here. I know he's trying to leave, Joe. Or are you coming no. up? No. <laughs> he's fine. No. Um, clarifying question, you're saying $15 an hour, are you? Minimum. I got it. The question I have is, do you want to tie it to living wage, because that's what I've seen as the policy statement, or you just want it at $15 an hour? What, what does that mean? What do you mean? Living wage. So living wage is that, that index that you're yeah. kind of referring mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. So I know when I was at the city of that Miami. you telling me if you do that, that's when you're going to have to increase everybody's every year. level. Yeah, well, no, no, no. Oh. You create a. City of Miami, we did this. We, they, the board approved living wage as an adopted ordinance and required like that Miami it be. Miami Beach. No, City of Miami. Miami, Miami Beach. Did. Miami Beach, the county, mm -hmm. a lot of people did it. But what they did in, in, that, in that policy, if you will, they do it on the contracting side and they do it in-house on the salaries. And then there's a process. So I'm just asking, do you want us to look at that or you just want us to say minimum $15 an hour? For regular employee, full-time employee. I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> so you just want to do fifteen dollars an hour? I would no, like to see what everybody think about okay. this. Okay. Can I go now? Yeah. <laughs> about that fifteen dollars. No, I now. would like to, for everybody because I, if they already full-time, they're getting health benefit. That's what I you think. Said. I think. Ca no, you said um, full-time only, right? Yeah, uh, yeah full-time full -time only. Full no, time well, I'm Maybe. adding everyone, meaning the part-time people, because th those are that's my. I, I don't mm. the full-time. I'm not really. The, I thought Councilman Galvin proposal, which I supported, w was it only targeting Councilman mm, full time full, or uh, everybody? Uh, my original ask was for everybody. Yes, but I, I'd be interested to see it broken down. Let's start. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's start with yeah, I'm the not a, yeah, but see, that, full that versus part. I'm not really on board with the full time right now, and I'll say why I wouldn't, and I don't know what Joe, what 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 would be the um the thing, but my my thing is that if they full time. And I, I'm assuming they are getting paid a decent little salary. If not, we'll look at that different. But they are getting health insurance, which is they're getting cooler, they're getting all this. But the little people who are working, um, assuming they're doing a good job, uh, we won't say where they're working. What people are you talking about? The part-time people. Part-time 29 hours or... We'll, we'll look at know. both. Yeah. Th those. Th that's my concern. I'm not really... We'll look at both. Yeah. Okay. For me, the simple guy on the street, that's the one that I'm worried about, making less than $15 an hour. I said I would like to see that in the budget, and uh, I don't think I will vote for a budget who doesn't address that, at least for the simple. Another, another some, some, there is something that I heard on the street, and you said I cannot talk to the employee, but it's based on the charter and the code of the city, I can talk to a, anyone I want. I cannot give them direction. Yeah. But I can talk to anybody in the city. And every employee who's been talking to me, you still can talk to me. But I just cannot tell you, go and do this. But I can talk to, to, oh. you, to any employee of the city. I heard that uh, this, this, ad this administration, right, we feel all the big position and I heard the word people with suit and tie. But on the street, we don't have enough people in public works, park department, and other uh, 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 services on the street. 
do you agree with that uh, comment? That's what I heard. Well, this administration has not put out any edict or directive to only hire suit and tie. We have been aggressively pursuing the filling of a lot of positions. For instance, the water plant. When I got here, it was woefully under understaffed. And over the last 18 months to two years, we have actually staffed up completely. Um, I will tell you, because I just finished the business process review, Parks is an area that is that has uh, a lot of issues around people resources. Some of that is uh, associated with having a number of employees on uh, FMLA leave or light duty, so they're not able to um, serve those, you know, currently or intermittently right now serve those functions. So those are those are things that we're looking at. But I certainly would not say we're we're not filling positions. Same thing with police. Um, I know that the chief is pushing hard to uh, get everything done to hire, but region wide, we yeah, have just issues. Thank you, manager. I have to step out because Me I have too. to be at another <laughs> meeting at 7 okay. That's been No, no, no. Go, go ahead. Because I have a question. No, check he's not. The, no, he's not adjoining me. He no, said he's. Just leaving. a quick question. I would like to see you uh, making sure that Park and Rec, Public Works Department, the water plant, and all the, the people on the street, the police department, have uh, enough people to do the citizen well, work versus filling city hall with administration employees. Um, Vice Mayor, can you can you are you chairing the meeting now? Can I speak, um, Madam Vice Mayor? It's a workshop. Yeah, but we want to con 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 conduct ourselves. <laughs> Democratically, with, with some um, decorum. Okay. It, uh, yeah, in a good <laughs> forum. Yes, we don't want to be fighting up here. But in reference to, um, that, of course, that's something totally different, Mr. Manager. But I, I had asked the city attorney because I, I had heard um, one thing in reference to the 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 the, the charter versus, huh? Yeah, yeah. Because I brought his name up. Yeah, I I haven't had that conversation so I don't know what, what what he heard on the street but I haven't heard uh, staff has been tremendously open with me and I think you know my mission here my goal um, whatever information that I need when I I had ex even the city attorney to give me because I heard something about um, can't speak to elected official whatever and I said wait a minute what do you mean I can't talk to staff um, I know I can't direct them and I even called um, Joe Centorino, and I talked to Joe. Said first of all, that's not even an ethic issue. That's number one. That's sound like that's you and your manager issue, and whatever your your charter says. But in order for you to do your your job, you got to talk to your staff because not everybody's an expert. Whatever, whatever the case is. So I, I haven't had that issue, Mr. Manager. I must say. I mean, I sent staff emails. They respond very. I call them on the phone. They respond very well. Just asking them whatever information. So I don't know what's going on, but. Anyhow, in reference to the little guy, again, since we're talking about the priorities and, and this and this and that, I know you're working hard, and I know we meet on a weekly basis. We talk about the, 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 the good jobs that different various departments are doing. I would really appreciate, which I mentioned again, and I think Councilman Proposal, um, Galvin Proposal, um, did support. When I said... Uh, not the full-time folks. I'm assuming that the full-time people are at a decent salary because the jobs that I've seen from customer service and up, they pretty much, I think you guys have raised the, the, the Mr. Um, Mr. Budget um, Director, that's Deputy Manager. We have gone up with salaries being aligned with maybe not where we need to be, but we've in the past year, we have increased salaries even at the lower level, I'm assuming. Yeah. So it may be a small number of full-time folks who are making less than 15, whatever, whatever the case is. M my thing is I wanted to do something similar to supporting what Councilman Galvin had, which I think is a North Miami Beach, Miami Beach um, ordinance um, to support that $15, to, for us to be a city of $15 um, per hour. That, that was, I thought that's what he was talking about, but he differentiated from full-time and stuff, but that's basically my comments. Yeah, before everybody leaves the room, can I weigh in with my thoughts on priorities? <laughs> um, I would like us to focus on um, affordable housing. Yay! No, I'm on. 
I'd like us to afford a, a focus on affordable housing. Um, we've had some great conversations. Thank you, Mr. Spring. Um, perhaps setting up some sort of development surtax so that people who are, uh, you know, starting new development pay into a fund that will help us uh, purchase properties or, or create housing. Um, talking to our developers about set-asides for uh, apartments like at the Bell House. Um, affordable housing, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like reading everything I can read on affordable housing right now and coming up with some tangible things. And I'll put out my own bullet points, but I, I certainly will, you'll hear from me a lot about affordable housing over the next year. You'll also hear from me a lot about sea level rise. Um, different parts of the community will face different levels of impact at different times. Um, I've seen things as simple as creating an interactive map that residents can go in and plug in addresses where they can see how much the sea level will come up, you know, in their neighborhood. Uh, and then, you know, purchasing properties to, that are pro flood prone. Um, affordable housing, sea level rise are obviously going to be things that I'm going to be focused on in the next year. And obviously, a lot of the things we've talked about tonight are going to cost money, $15 an hour wages, et cetera. The special events have to screechingly come to a halt um, outside of some, you know, we don't want to say no 4th of July, no Thanksgiving parade, but we can't get into, you know, we, we just got to really, I think that's one place where you could save a lot of money. Uh, and I think the last question I have for tonight is, as I'm looking through the budget and some of the questions I've fielded lately, people are asking me about contracts we have with different organizations. One is on GAF. We've talked about that this week that are attributed to the mayor council office. Now I've never heard of GAF. I don't know what they're doing what for the GAF? city. For the, uh, we're paying GAF several thousand dollars a month to do services for mayor council. Um, I would like before the budget hearings, I would like some real feedback on who GAF is, what it is that they're doing. And then going forward in the budget, I feel that I don't know what they're doing. No, but, but who are they? Right. You know? Who are they? But you can't just throw that in as mayor council because that's what people have come to me and yeah, said, Galvin, can't. who is this GAF that you're paying $2,000 a month to? Uh, they also got paid a lot out of the uh, go bond, you know, so go, go, go bond money. <laughs> I don't know who they are. I don't know what they're doing. And staff to attribute them because the contracts are all on our portal. It's not fair to us to have stuff and attributed to the council that I have no idea who they are. I did look at, after our discussion, I went and pulled from our contract. We do have a contract compliance uh, person and a portal, and all the contracts are there. The contract for GAF was there, and what it says, so the charge to mayor and council is probably incorrect uh -huh. because um, it's for, they're maintaining, they're doing um, maintenance of the uh, North Face Shore Pier area. That's what the contract is for. So, and actually the contract is now expired. So I need to. But we're still paying them even though that contract is expired. Well, that's, and that's what I'm looking into now. That's okay. what I, that's so when you gave me uh, the information. So we talk about needs right. to come up with right. money to do some of the uh, things right. that are more of our priority. We got to cut out because even though that's not and, a. And the being expired could be an issue of we just didn't sign the. New contract. The, the renewal. That's, but that's why I'm trying to do the research to see. Right. Where, where they are. But that's what that. But I need to go look at the charge to mayor and council, the right. physical charge and the general ledger, to make sure that it was not it was improperly posted to sure. the mayor and council Can general ledger count as opposed to the park, the North Face Shore Park. Okay. Uh, Councilman oh, Galvin, to that point, I know we had had discussion. I don't know if, if you and I, Mr. Manager, had this discussion. When we give out money from our discretionary funds, that. It ties into who ma who made that money because I did get um, a call, but that was a couple months ago until he mentioned it to me. Somebody thought that I was giving them some money, and it was another um, council person. Oh. So if it, it's that thing that would have solved if it's from our office and it's from our discretionary I fund, and I give to an organization, that's the thing I need you to could look put at the name the and label well, it. I think the other thing that's happening in the tra in the transparency portal. Each of you have your own individual account, like, uh, you know. It, do, it doesn't two, work. No, 213 or 214, 215. But in the transportation portal, mayor and council rolls up into one, one That's area. That's not good. We'd have probably need to, we can Sub talk sorry. to IT and see if we can drill it down further so it, so, so it would show Councilman Keyes' 
individual office versus yours yes. versus the mayor versus versus you. Sure. And, and, so and that's and that's the role. And that's fair too. Okay. Obviously, you know, if it's so mayor and not council, it should just right. be mayor. mayor. It should be council district one. Yeah, we have it already by each by council each person. Right. Yeah, the the transparency portal just shows our office yeah. Yeah. shows our office yeah. spending a fortune. Because I've been through it check by check, and I, I can't figure out what it all is, and it's a lot. Right. And as long as, as long as I'm speaking, when you're talking discretionary, I think that the council discretionary need really needs to come down, and it needs to be for brick. I would like to see it for brick and mortar, capital improvements to the city. I don't think th that our you know, we have one discretionary that we all got. This is something new for tables and a few events, but. For our discretionary, um, I think it's for the citizens, the residents, to do improvements in the city. Someone needs a sidewalk fix, and for some reason they can't. You need lighting, you need trees, just things but like that. But but to just start giving money away and to spend no, it on food and party, I, you know, I just don't think that's proper use of discretionary. I, I don't know about if I agree with that, Councilwoman. Do you have any money left that you could lend me? I have a ton of money left See, she, I don't spend I it. I don't have none. We, <laughs> you know, no, the ca I know the council, the, the county does that, you know, but that was just a joke. But just to say, each of us have different priorities and different constituencies. I've been, you know, I gave the, the, the church. <laughs> Um, the church. The, yeah, I, bulk of my thing just went to them because the, of what they, they were doing. It's in my area, but it, it it all goes to, you know, I don't have none left. I mean, I you know, so it's it's I I don't know about increasing, but you could like you said, you you have it, you save it that's, for what you want. And I and I know Councilman Galvin use it for good use. So everybody, you know, that's something that I thought that was one of the good thing that that happened. At least we have a little see thing and we don't have to go through that process so I, i'm really all for it are we good here good yeah, thank you we can call the meeting adjourned yeah, or the workshop or any other okay no voting no voting thank you all right sir you have to vote okay for your thing <laughs>